Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, or should I say TGIF? Thank God it's Friday. So it may not be Friday for you just yet, or maybe it's Friday and it's 2 a.m. and you're still asleep. So um, I'm sending you, well, sweet dreams and good morning, because what are we doing today? Um, yeah, we're going to turn things upside down a bit. At least I hope we will. And um, I hope this isn't just like me and the people that follow my channel. I really hope that we kind of um, influence the game substantially. So Chinese people, if you watch my videos, pretty please participate with this. Don't make this just a Western thing. So here's here's the deal. Royal Arena, you don't lose cups. You get cups, but you don't lose them. And I hit Platinum 2, and I must admit, it was a little bit bumpy. Things slowed down. Basically, they just ground to a halt. So um, I can show you my battle log, and you would laugh at me, but I came up with a with an idea because here's the deal. The more people who get to the higher levels, the more chances you have to match with somebody that's not a maxed SH-40, right? So this is the idea. So it's basing um, your matches on the available pool from like say Platinum 2 or Platinum 1 or Gold or etc. So if there's more people to match in Platinum 2, then you know you have a better chance of getting something other than a maxed SH-40 because otherwise you know, the pyramid just keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller at the top. Now bear with me for a minute here while I show you something ridiculous. And uh, someone suggested they, that I do it yesterday in order to help him get past, you know, me so that he could get unblocked and stuff like that. I didn't really help him. Um, however, um, I had been thinking about doing this just in general before. So if you look closely, you'll see my defending troops are set at one. And right now it, it could be just whatever. I, could, I couldn't care less what my troops are set at. So I'm just going to save this. You can see it's confirmed. It's one. If anybody attacks me, pow, it's, it's it. Now, you're going to be wondering, like, what the heck on earth are you doing? And surprisingly, it's kind of working out. There's, two, there's potentially two benefits to it. One, more people get to go up the ladder, which means that longer term, um, it's going to be easier to actually, you know, go through this, this ranking system. More people that go through it, the easier it'll be to get to here, because that's our goal, right? We all want to be master three. So how do we do it? It's gonna. Re what I'm saying is, it's gonna require teamwork. More people are gonna have to put a one defense, like your farms and and just everything. Just put a one defense. And if you're worried about losing the resources, just give me a beep break because the amount of resources that you get is pretty small, guys. Okay, so if you lose them and you can't recover them, it, it, it's not like it's it's gonna make or break your game. It's really it's it's a pretty small amount, so don't worry about that. You can't lose the cups. The cups are protected. You know, just hit claim every once in a while, whatever. But here's the deal. You really cannot lose them. Cannot. Because in your defense log, if you lost them to, say, having one troop, when you go and you click revenge, you just use your normal troops and you get it back. So they actually get the resources and you get the resources. It helps everybody. And if you couldn't beat them originally, you weren't going to beat them before. So effectively, you're not losing anything. Right, because if you if you could have defended them before, which means that you could beat them, then yeah. So and if you couldn't have beat them, well, it wouldn't make any difference because they were going to get it anyway. You see, so actually it helps you because if a little guy stole the resources before the big guy, and you revenge him later, you have an easier time of of collecting those. So the little guys can actually take those resources from you, and kind of hold them in the revenge status for you to go collect them later. Do you see where I'm going with this? Is this making any sense to you? The more people that the more people that can progress, the more people that you know the easier matches will get later on. And we just basically game a system for free resources because it was rigged to begin with. And if you don't want just ultra mega spender Chinese or ultra mega complex account Chinese to win, well, this is our way of working around it. So they're probably going to nerf it exactly two minutes after I post this video, but until then, you guys can enjoy this idea that more people can progress to their master three, blah, blah, blah. And <clears throat> could I progress to master three on my own without trying to, you know, create these, these weird hacks and doing, you know, funky things to break the game? Yeah, maybe. Who knows? But this, I have to admit, guys, this is way more fun. 
I mean, can you imagine getting to Master 3 by just using one defense troop? I mean, just exposing how lame this game is and how stupid they designed things. All they have to do is make it so that attacks lose cups. That's it. When they do that, at that point, there's enough incentive to make it so that, um, you know, you won't put a one troop defense. But until that point, there's not absolutely no, no, no disadvantage whatsoever. You know, I mean, like, common sense would have had them do this from the beginning. But of course, you know, common sense, it, it doesn't apply to these guys. The developers of this game are just friggin' stupid. I mean, like, just, just super dumb. Just ultra mega dumb. Yeah, I, I, I just, I never get it, but whatever. Um, yeah. I mean, I get, you know, give them an A for effort. I mean, they created yet another stupid mini game that's, that's based on gathering and has no logic. I mean, like, who can do that? Who can make seven mini games without, without any bit of intelligence in a row? I mean, like, at least one out of seven, you should get lucky, right? And oh, yeah, I am talking smack, King of Avalon, when Guns of Glory or Z Day. I am, I am definitely, definitely talking smack now because, you know, hey, I mean, just set one troop defense, and the more people that upgrade, pow, just let it, just let it go. You get cops, and there's no, there's no downside. Just let everybody get to master three. Let's do it. This is my goal. So, if nothing else, please, all the revenge fans, if you support me, do it. Now, here's bonus points. If you watch the video up until this point, I need your help. In the comments of this video, pretty please post, if you're from another country, I need to know how much your packages cost. Because the next video that I want to publish is going to be exposing their scam on, on pricing. So because Australian people pay like 160 Australian, it ends up equating to like 115 US. And I'm going to run through every country that you guys post for saying their price. You know, I like how much is the Turkish lira? How much is the euro, the British pound? I'm pretty sure the euro is 100 euros and the British pound is 100 pounds. And those definitely do not equate out to $100. Um, but I don't know like uh, the, the Japanese yuan. I think the Japanese, uh, Japanese yen. I don't know the Japanese yen. I don't know uh, the Korean currency. <clears throat> I can look for Singapore myself if I really wanted to. But basically every country... Please drop a comment. Let's see, like the Russian. I, actually, I don't know how much packages are priced in, in Russia. I'd love to know. Let's, let's, you know, put more comments and let me know exactly how much this stuff is because, you know, um, yeah, they're doing unfair things and I want to expose it and I want to try and get it maybe fixed so that some of those exchange rates are brought down to, to more reasonable exchange rates. Um, but if we don't band together, if we don't, bring attention to it, it's not going to happen. So it's going to be in one of my future videos, but I need enough data from you guys knowing what other countries have to pay in order to do that video, in order to help you guys get the lower prices. So, okay, there we go. All right. Love you and bye-bye for now.